rule number one of partying with aliens is not to show up late to the after party. Otherwise, you're going to be the one who gets stuck with cleaning up the stripper cage. And you really don't want to be responsible for what's left in the stripper cage. <laughs> I'm going to hope that you weren't the entertainment. Man, can my day get any worse? Honestly, nothing is going my way. Oh! <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to Burn Finders, where for today's episode, we're gonna find out if a pair of rednecks managed to wipe out all other intelligent life in the universe. You know, one minute, I was selling a bunch of stuff in my pawn shop, you know, minding my own business, not paying any taxes, that kind of thing, and then the next, I was partying with aliens and mixed something into their moonshine. What that something was, I'm still not entirely sure, but I'm really hoping it wasn't poison. I'd normally start off these episodes with some words of wisdom from Uncle Billy, but he's not really talking to me right now. I think he might be a little bit embarrassed about what happened at the end of last episode. It's not every day that you get drunk and then down and dirty with a couple of aliens named Steve. On the dance floor, down and dirty on the dance floor. That's very important to point out. There was no probing involved. Now we have an email from Cousin Kevin about finding a real thick dog, and I'm not sure how that's going to lead to any of the answers we're looking for. Yo, yo, cuz. So, I really want a thick boy to make a company. Last time I saw one was around Knuckles Barn. Got the cash. See you next, Chrismax. Sure, like, who cares about the fate of an entire alien race when we've got thick boys? I'll do my best to look around Knuckles Burn. So it's halfway across the country. It's going to cost us $1,000 in gas, but it's just a burn. I mean, I mean, technically the game is called Burn Finders, and the last barn we were in did have a portal in the basement that led to an alien rave. So things might get weird yet. Hold on a second. Why are we still working? Look, uh, Uncle Billy, the aliens gave you two tickets to Hawaii. So who gives a rat's ass what Cousin Kevin wants? Like, we achieved our dreams. Oh, we're not working. This is pleasure. Oh, it's an after party. Okay, well, at least he still has the tickets. I was going to say, I swear to God, if he lost those tickets. Why do I trust him with tickets? The only tickets Uncle Billy should have are speeding tickets. After party out of this world, huh? I'm not gonna ask why Steve's crotch is sparkling. I'm not gonna ask why Uncle Billy is throwing up the Illuminati symbol. The only question I want answered right now is where are the tickets? Where are the tickets, Uncle Billy? You just had them. I'm seeing a whole lot of empties with your name on them, but not a whole lot of tickets. Find our vacation tickets. Did you wanna help? They should be here somewhere. Oh, good. Somewhere. I'll, I'll just check past the pig. I'm sure this guy isn't... Oh. I was gonna say, he might be frozen solid, but now I'm thinking the cold is the least of his worries. Wait a second. I, I get so wrapped up with the tickets and, and the flying pigs that I never even realized. We saw a couple of living Steves on the way in, and Bobby seems to be doing fine. So, what did the thief have me mix into their moonshine that was so important? I'm so confused right now. And what kind of weird Swedish synth pop are you guys listening to? Oh no, that's enough of that. Well, I'm happy that the aliens are alive, but this is a bit of a bummer. I think we showed up after the after party. Like, this must have been crazy. They were playing beer pong. There were a bunch of splooge covered mattresses all over the place. It just smells like alcohol and reproduction in here. Rule number one of partying with aliens is not to show up late to the after party. Otherwise, you're going to be the one who gets stuck with cleaning up the stripper cage. And you really don't want to be responsible for what's left in the stripper cage. <laughs> I'm going to hope that you weren't the entertainment. Man, can my day get any worse? Honestly, nothing is going my way. Oh. <laughs> I take it back, best day ever. I don't understand how all of these things are covered with diarrhea streaks, despite the fact that I found them covered. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining. Like, it's still a Lamborghini. 
Maybe? It doesn't matter what it is. All that matters is that it's fast and very valuable. <gasps> that right there is a couple of trips to Hawaii. Maybe we should go up and visit Eden? Or is Eden the other room? What do we have in this cage? Oh, locked. Okay, so we need to find a key. I don't even care what else we find in here, to be perfectly honest. Like, the rest of it can just get shoved up alien butts. Uh, I've already made off like a thief. Oh, speaking of thieves, maybe we should try to find the thief? Or get up to the roof and talk to Bobby? Listen, I know I sounded very satisfied with that car, but that doesn't mean I would turn away some kind of alien hillbilly pirate treasure. I don't know what could possibly be in here, but whatever it is, it's gonna be mine soon. Uh, it's a radio. Okay, it might be the radio to my car, so in all reality, happy I found it. There's so many sploogy mattresses and empty beers and regrets. Why was I not here? I hate myself. Oh, there's an alien force field over there. Looks like a room. Okay, maybe we need to get on top of the cage, go out through the roof. Yeah, let's try something like that. If I can actually get around, there's so much crap on the ground that I, I, I just want to beat it all up, but I might actually need it. We gotta parkour our way up there somehow. Yeah, I'm totally not gonna break my neck on that, right? <laughs> Maybe that's what ended up happening to the pig? Who knows, I just wanna live long enough to actually drive that car. Ooh, okay. And there you have it. It's just that easy. Now you can get out of my way because I need to have a conversation with a dancing roof alien. Bobby, how do you feel? Are you okay? What's going on? Party hard! Okay, but, uh, hard! Okay, I, I get it. Just stop twerking at me, Jesus. You're right on the edge of a frozen roof. You're gonna fall and break your neck. Do you have a neck? What happened last night? Have you seen my tickets? I took a quick look around from up here. I haven't seen any tickets, but Uncle Billy's on the move, so maybe he's on to something? I also noticed that for some reason, they graffitied their own vehicle. A <laughs> Little bit of a strange decision. Also, we've got ourselves a key, and I can drop down in here, which, oh, is another key, okay. Uh, hello there. That's apparently junk. I don't want to throw that out. Oh, this is all junk. Oh, no, we'll, we'll leave the snowman be. Uh, just a bunch of recycling and stuff like that. Uh, no, no, why am I carrying the frozen pig poop? Just, just put it down. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Okay, so even if we didn't find a key, maybe there was no key. Wait, we got in here now. <laughs> So, uh, what was the point of coming in here? Sure, we could have got a little privacy in a poop bucket, but I'm not really seeing anything worthwhile. What do you think they might be hiding with a door-sized poster? Oh, a door! Who would have guessed? What do we have in here? Oh, we're going up! Okay, good! This would be the force fields. Uh, oh. Oh, it's the thief. So is the thief the alien thief? Deep secret hideout, or were you behind it this entire time? Yeah, I'm gonna hit you right in the balls again. The thief was the thief was also... Huh, oh and he had the tickets! I think I got it figured out now. I, I was a little bit confused. Like, all of the aliens that Uncle Billy was dancing and partying and getting down with, they weren't named Steve. They were named Alien. There are all of the random aliens, and then there's Bobby, their leader, and Steve, the thief. The alien thief that I've seen dancing all over the place with moonshine. The thief that was apparently not actually a human that kept showing up to my store and I would hit in the balls. They were one and the same. And he apparently had time to write Thief Secret Hideout in neon lights. I mean, it made his motivations pretty clear. He was just a big fan of moonshine and he stole all of the alien's moonshine, but then wanted to give it back. I guess it still doesn't make any sense what that something extra was. He really had me worried that I poisoned them all, but 
<laughs> Apparently not. Got they tickets? I'm a waiting by the lake. Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm coming as quick as I can. Just trying to figure out everything that's happened over the last, like, two months. Well, as you somehow already knew, I found the tickets. And absolutely nothing else of value in the barn, so we can leave now. <laughs> Apparently he wants me to leave across this frozen lake. Uh, that doesn't look particularly safe. How about we do something like this? Maybe there's something of value out there. Oh, I still haven't found Thick Boy. Right. We can't leave until I've drowned to death. Apparently, I'm not the only one struggling with this ice. Excuse me, are you okay? I don't think he's okay. <laughs> nope. I mean, not, I'm no alien biologist, but he looks pretty dead. Oh. And now I have three keys. Red, white, and blue. Why would I need keys? Hopefully, I'll find out before I drown. Okay. I can make that jump right. Yeah. There we go. Oh, hey, there's our boy. Can I get you out of there? You're probably gonna be a little waterlogged, but that's okay. So that's it. We got our item. Sweet. Uh, something tells me this boat is not gonna get me back to shore, so I'm gonna have to find my own way. Uh, that cracked real weird. Uh, okay. Yep. Yep, it's it's not doing well out here, Uncle Billy. I do not feel comfortable. <laughs> okay. I hope you realize I'm missing most of these jumps because all your empties are absolutely tanking my frame rate. <laughs> like, I turn my head and weird things happen sometimes. It's like I'm contact drunk. Just being near you makes me a little bit intoxicated. <laughs> so we need to figure out what all these keys are for. Clearly three keys means maybe three treasures or Possibly one big one. I've already explored most of this place, I thought. I still can't believe all this drama boiled down to one alien really liking Moonshine. <laughs> it's just the most ridiculous thing ever. Hello there. Oh, he was hiding the end of the death ray cannon. We might need that in Hawaii. Who knows? <laughs> Should I be getting rid of all this? I don't think I really want to, to be perfectly honest. I kind of want to leave it up. It's just worth a couple of bucks. There's got to be more. I'm, I'm missing one item. There's just one thing left that I need to find, and it's going to be behind something that's locked. But there's nothing else in here. Maybe there was something outside? I didn't really look around out here a whole lot. Oh, maybe we need to dig up some treasure. <laughs> Underneath the snow, something of value buried out back. Or not? Wishful thinking, I suppose. We've got a well. We've got a well that I can enter. Interesting. Uh, oh, maybe not. Maybe not. I shouldn't be asking myself, can I get down the well? I should be asking myself, should I go down the well? <laughs> get the feeling I'm gonna pull a bit of a Samara here. That looks like a body. Maybe? Oh, no, it's a root. Okay. Well, uh, we don't have a bucket for the well anymore, but I don't think that's an issue. It's looking pretty dry down here. I'm hearing something. Oh! Oh. Here we go. Okay, and this is what all of the keys go to. It's uh, golden toilet paper. Okay. Well, we found all the golden toilet paper now, but I'm still missing an item, and it's sure not down here. Uh, Uncle Billy? <laughs> Help! Might be able to hardcore parkour my way up these rocks? Okay, this is actually working. There we go. <laughs> okay, so we're in the clear. We are safe. Everything is fine. The balloons are dead. <gasps> Just gotta find ourselves one item. That's it. Just one item of value. There's got to be something around here somewhere. Do you think the snowman is holding out on me? Should I go pressure him? He's just out of reach, and I really don't want to go climbing around on the roof again. Bobby, are you not tired? <laughs> You've been dancing for like two straight days, man. There's got to be something that I'm missing around here, right? Because, oh, okay, here we go. We got another place to dig. I haven't had a whole lot of luck with these, but 
It's just one item. I don't think that's asking too much. Okay. We got a uh, dragonborn helmet. That wasn't the last item. Oh my God, you gotta be kidding me. Is it a bad time to point out that I'm still soaking wet from retrieving thick boy? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm gonna die of hypothermia if I don't find this last item soon. Uh, the pig's back. <laughs> hey, you look fine. Maybe I should get those balloons off you before I startle you again? Ah, cha cha cha, or not? You're probably fine, right? You're all right. Let's see if we can find that last item. How is he so fast? Look, I just need one item, Uncle Billy. I don't think that's asking too much. Let's see if we can get rid of these posts. I don't care about the money. It's just like a couple of bucks. I just need that one item to have 100% completed the game. There you are, you stupid power tool. Of course, it will be called God Complex. Doesn't matter, 100% completed burn finders, assuming this is the last level. Hoping this is the last level. I hope to never see your fat ass ever again. We're going to Hawaii. You got anything to say about that? Find our vacation ticket. This is why you don't drink, okay? It completely demolishes your mind. I think everything is packed up. Yeah, we, we just got to get the vehicle. Oh, I guess I do need to tell him about it because he's gonna have to help me haul it through the desert across the country. Yeah, this thing isn't gonna be worth a wooden nickel by the time we get back. I apparently missed a collectible, but I don't care. Now, there's a collection an arsehole can be proud of. One more sleep and then we'll be in Hawaii, right? We've got the tickets. There should be nothing stopping us. We just need to send off Thick Boy, and then that's that. <laughs> Hopefully, maybe, possibly. I don't know, man. At this point, the aliens could want something else for me. Who knows? Please, just tell me the diarrhea-covered computer doesn't have anything else. Pack and send. Good. Oh, I just got a Steam achievement. I'm apparently employee of the month, and we don't have any more emails. That's what I like to see. Uh, Uncle Billy? Actually, if we were gonna travel, I think we would wanna go here and go on vacation. What? I was gonna say, we went all that way and went through all that trouble just for Uncle Billy to pass out on the beach. But apparently that was just a memory. We were thinking back at it longingly as we were sitting in our very nice shack all of a sudden. Would Uncle Billy and the aliens have another adventure for us? I mean, maybe there's gonna be DLC for this game or something. If it's gonna be more barn finding, which sounds stupid for a game called Barn Finders, but I think I've had enough. You know, I think that's gonna be it for Barn Finders, guys. It's like I said, I don't know what the next adventure would hold, but if it's something really interesting, then maybe I would return. You know, I really did enjoy the game, but once you've done the same thing over and over and over again, like a couple dozen times, it starts to wear thin. You're not in it for the gameplay and for the searching anymore, hence why I've been editing a lot of that out of the videos. I'm just in it for the story. I wanna see what's gonna happen. What's up with these aliens? Why am I doing what I'm doing? And it turns out, it wasn't much. You know, it just kind of fell a little flat. I'm not disappointed. I'm just satisfied. I think I've had enough. But if it ends up being really good, you know, let me know. If you guys want to see more, leave a like in the video and maybe I'll return to help Bobby and the aliens again soon. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.